Well, the month of May is certainly an important one as far as harness racing is concerned. Pacing for pink is the title, raising much needed funds for the McGrath Foundation. At Club and Angle next Tuesday afternoon, there's a big high tea planned to discuss this and lot, a lot more as far as the day is concerned. I have Jess Watkins from the Marketing Coordination Department for Racing. Well, Jess, we've seen what uh, wonderful things can happen in harness racing when we're raising money for Team 2. And now we're going in another direction, raising money throughout the month of May, pacing for pink for the McGrath Foundation. Absolutely. The harness racing industry is a great community when they come together for a great cause. And you're seeing here great success in the pink pants, just as they did in the teal throughout February and March. And really looking forward to seeing the tally here at the end of the month for Club and Angle. And next Tuesday afternoon, as I mentioned in the intro, a great afternoon of racing supported by the McGrath Foundation and the support we're going to be giving them. Absolutely. So we jumped on board, Club and Angle did the Pacing for Pink campaign, which supports the McGrath Foundation. And next Tuesday, we'll gather here to celebrate the campaign at the high tea, which will be held upstairs in level two and should be a fantastic afternoon. So Menangle next Tuesday will be a wash in pink. Absolutely. A splash of pink is the dress code. So we hope everyone here can get around that. And what's the uh, function entail? So it'll be an afternoon high tea where there'll be harness racing, of course, on the track. But then off it, we've got Jamie Rogers from the Big Sports Breakfast emceeing the afternoon. We have Bella speaking from the McGrath Foundation. Fred Hastings will be popping in to give us some tips and hopefully point everyone in a winning way. And also Kerry Ann and Robert Morris will be coming up to speak to everyone about their involvement in the Pacing for Pink campaign and what it means to them to be driving in the pink pants. No doubt the fact that Fred will be there, there'll be plenty of money set aside for a little bit of, a little bit of extra to be donated. Absolutely, we hope so. Hopefully everyone can back a winner and add a bit more to the campaign. Now Jess, the, as I mentioned, the Team for Teal has been a wonderful success uh, and as you mentioned, already we're heading in the right direction with the pink promotion. Absolutely. I think just after Saturday night's meeting, the tally hit 5,200 and with a few meetings to go throughout May, who knows where it could end up. Already the numbers are very good as far as bookings. Absolutely. We've got already over 160 people booked in. And, of course, it's next Tuesday, so there's last-minute tickets available. So we hope to see everyone there. Uh, Jess, if anyone can't get to Club and Eagle next Tuesday afternoon to be involved in this fundraising for the McGrath Foundation, can they support the organisation in another method? Absolutely. If they head on to the Pacing for Pink Facebook page, there's a link on there where you can make a donation to the campaign through there. And just we hope next Tuesday is the first of many years of raising much needed funds for the McGrath Foundation. That's right. This is the inaugural high tea. So we hope to build on this each and every year and just see it keep getting bigger and better. Well, Jess, good luck with next Tuesday. No doubt it will be an outstanding success. It's always uh, fun to get involved with a new organisation, have a new idea at Club and Angle. And hopefully, as we mentioned, this is going to be the first of many for the McGrath Foundation. That's right. Thank you so much, Mike.